Hi, welcome to Camille's Country Corner. My name is Lexi and today we are going to be making ham and rice soup. So my mom is off visiting my aunt in South Carolina this week and she was not able to make a video, but she's having tons of fun visiting family, making scones, having lots of memories. I'm stuck here. So what I'm gonna do is take some leftover ham from Thanksgiving, um, not Thanksgiving, from Christmas, and we are going to make it into a delicious soup or stew, whatever you prefer on your thickness of it. Anyways, if you haven't already, please hit subscribe, definitely hit that like, and let's get into how to make this delicious leftover soup. Also, my granny got me this apron. Just wanted to throw that out there. Best apron ever. It's got little pockets. All right, let's get into it. For this recipe, you're going to need rice, garlic, chicken stock or chicken bouillon, a potato, onion, celery, carrot, leftover Christmas ham, some spices, and some water. Let's get this soup up and running. I am so hungry. All right, so what I'm going to start doing now is just chopping all my vegetables. This is the best part of doing soups and stews is all you have to do is like chop up stuff, throw it into a pot, flavor it, boom, dinner. So, I really like this version, or like a similar version than what my mom would make for me, is when she had leftover like Christmas ham or turkey, she would make it into a soup. And I asked my stepmom yesterday if she would bring me over some of the leftover ham from Christmas. So that's what I'll be using. So I did two ribs of celery. I'm gonna take my carrots. Mine's a little bit chunky. I don't know if we can see. Thick boy. I'm gonna cut it in half. So we have half moons. But I want everything to be around the same size so that it all cooks around the same time. Please comment below, what does your family do with the leftovers from holidays? I know that I've seen so many different variations of like, take mashed potatoes and you make potato pancakes or, oh, what else? Those like the, sand, the greatest sandwich of all time from friends, things like that. We didn't do anything super crazy for Christmas besides go out. We went to breakfast at my dad's house, so. Which I made pumpkin cinnamon rolls and I really should have videoed it so that I could share it with you guys. Cause that would have been fun. This is just a russet potato. I picked the biggest one that there was because I wanted lots of potato chunks inside of my soup. So all I'm doing is like quartering this down to make just smaller chunks for myself so that I can cut them. This boy is a little bit big. Even smaller, there we go. One thing that I did notice this holiday season, and maybe it's just like every holiday um, or every Christmas that this happens, but there's like a food trend that is just super popular. So this year, I think it was French toast casserole. I've never heard of that until this year and four different people that I know got that for their breakfast for Christmas. My mom would do cinnamon rolls. That's why I made cinnamon rolls. I miss my mom. No two potato is the same size. That's fine. All right, and I'm doing an onion and a half because I already had this one and I don't want it to go bad. So I'm gonna use it up, but it wasn't enough onion, so. This 
is not the knife that I typically use and it's throwing me off and I can't find the knife that I like. Sorry if you can hear my cat playing in the background. She found a ball. And I know for a fact she is going to be so upset with me when I take down the Christmas tree later today. I have fake birds on the tree and she loves to stare at them. I'm just gonna throw this into a pot with a little bit of oil and some ghee and we're gonna toast them all up and sweat those onions out and we're gonna add some liquid so let me just move you over there all right so this is a high heat that I'm doing I'm gonna do a dollop of this ghee it's just gonna add more flavor to our mixture I'm actually gonna use olive oil for the rest of it. So it looks like I am out of the other oil. Mm -hmm. Hocus Pocus, mixy. And I'm just gonna stir this up, get this going. Let that go for a little bit. So I just added a little bit of garlic into here. I would say about two cloves. And I'm gonna make sure that I season this with salt right now, just to get that going. And then some pepper. onions are now becoming translucent so I'm gonna go ahead and add some water let me see if it gives me a line two liters of water or two quarts can always add more if I need to. What I'm also going to do is add this better than bouillon seasoning. And this one is chicken stock. So I want it to be a very flavorful soup. What I'm going to do now is we're going to bring this to temperature, let this boil a little bit, get those flavors going, and we'll season about halfway through, but let's cut up that ham so it's nice and ready for when we're gonna add it. So I just have some regular spiral ham here. I'm literally just gonna make this into little, little bites. I don't know if I want like the sugary part that comes on the ham. So I'm probably gonna just eat that as a little chef snack as I'm making this. And then this gives me the opportunity as well to 
cut off all the extra fat. All right, I'm going to chunk up the rest of this ham. I'll bring you back when it is time to add seasonings to our soup. All right, this is almost to temperature, so I'm going to start adding some seasonings to it. So I'm going to do about a teaspoon of oregano. teaspoon of basil, gonna add a touch more salt, garlic powder, Parsley, about a half teaspoon. And then a half teaspoon of thyme. And then a couple dashes of Hot hung Hungarian paprika. Seeing if there's anything else that I would like to add to this today. So. And then I'm just gonna add a touch of this seasoning, the cracked pepper and garlic. There you go. And then just put in some more pepper. All right, give that a stir. Beautiful. All right, I'll bring you back as this soup continues. All right, this has been going for a little bit. I did add the ham to it to just steep in some of that delicious flavor that was going on. So we're gonna give this a try before I add in the rice and I might add a tiny bit more water just because I know the rice is gonna soak up everything. But like, look at that spoonful. And I did turn this heat down to a medium, but I have a gas range so it just is, as powerful as it was high. Mm, that is really good, but it does need some more salt and pepper. So I'm gonna just add a couple more sprinkles of that in there. And then let's get some pepper. My vegetables definitely are cooked through at this point, so I could stop with the medium heat and turn it to a low simmer, but I am going to cook the rice, so. Oh, that's nice. All right, let's add the rice. <clears throat> Today I have Thai jasmine white rice. I'm just using what's left in my bag. Let's measure it out, see how much is in there. All right, it's a little less than half a cup, so I'm just going to dump that in. Give it a good stir. 
You can substitute the rice for noodles. You could omit the rice. I just like the way that it, the texture of the rice, but look at all those ham chunks floating up as I stir. And like I said, I'm gonna add just a touch more water because you wanna add double the amount, just a touch. There we go. All right, I'll see you at the completed dish and give it a taste right, test. So we made our soup. I let it sit for a little bit and cool down because I didn't want to burn myself, but it's still super steaming, so it's fine. The broth definitely soaked up into that rice, which I was expecting. So I'm real, it's now like a stew, but it looks super good. So let's give it a try. Burn my tongue a little bit. Oh, that is so good. <clears throat> it is warm. It tastes like a chicken stew almost, but like it has ham in it, which is one of my favorites. I really hope you guys make this recipe. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. Definitely hit that like, and I'll hope to see you guys later on this week with more recipes. All right, bye for now.